What's happening, Freedompreneurs? Doc Favors here. And this is going to be another Novatech check-in uh, because I've been reading some of you all's comments. And there's a few comments on here that I want to address. But before I do that, let me just first say this, that I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't be your financial advisor uh, or no one else's for that matter. But what I can do is share with you how we pivot, what we into, what we do, and how we continue to level up even in times of uncertainty. So that being said, do your boy a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, you all. Thank you for all the new subs. Y'all know we got to clap it up, man. You all continue, continue to support your boy, and I definitely appreciate that. So with that being said, you all, let me let me just say this here. Um, I, I appreciate you all allowing me to be me because a lot of times when you're in the investment space, as you all see, uh, people of the cloth, clergy, particularly, we, we get a, a people use it for their personal gain sometimes. And then when things go wrong, then we take a big hit. And if someone does something in the clergy, then we all get blamed for it. Let me just say it like that. But I appreciate all of you all for not just throwing stones and sticks at me because I am clergy. I am a bishop because of what happened in this space, right? And so I appreciate that. But I'm reading some of you all's comments right now. Uh, one person says, I just pray it come out better because I have planned my life with the money in the system and they stopped paying. And I'm really not happy with happening but immediately. It's time I decided to draw that when they stopped paying. It, it seemed like that happened for everybody, you all, for a lot of people, not everyone, but for a lot of people. I'm talking about thousands. That as soon as we got ready to start even small increments, that's when the funny bunny starts happening, right? So I definitely feel your pain. Uh, another person says, thank you for the information, but if God bless me with the money, I'm never trusting another investor again, and I'm finished. And, okay, and I understand that, but let me just let me just caution y'all, and, and let me just say this, because those are some of the ones. There's a few more uh, that I wanted to address. Can you help me get my money back, please? And uh, like that. So let me just do this. I know we all disappointed things of that nature, but you all know I try to be positive on purpose. And what I'm getting ready to say um, is coming from a good heart. Um, but here's the thing. You don't throw away the concept of investing because someone made a mistake and did us all wrong. The reality of it is, guys, is OK, we have to see what we did. We have to pivot and then move on from that. Because I'm going to tell you right now, uh, investing, especially coming up in the future, if you ever want to get out of that rat race, okay, the financial piece, then you have to learn how to multiply your time. And the only way you learn how to multiply your time, you all, is through multiple streams of income or multiple sources of income, which means you're going to have to take that risk of investment again. And now, don't get me, what, what I do now, I take a more of an informed risk. I don't particularly play in the wild, wild west like that. If you all been looking at the numbers, you know, if you've been looking at the economics, I trade Forex, but the euro, JPY, it tanked today, last night and today. And a lot of people lost millions, billions of dollars because the market tanked so fast. It moved so fast that even if you were in that trade, in that piece, and you had a stop loss, it just blew and obliterated imagine a train going 50, 60 miles an hour hitting a small, uh, I don't know if you all remember it, back in 1990s, we had them little Ford Escorts, right? Them little small little hatchbacks. Imagine a train going 50 miles an hour hitting one of those or hitting a, a small little Yugo. Man, it's going to obliterate that thing. And so it, it, it completely crashed and tore the markets up. And as I looked at them even today, they still haven't bounced back, you all. So you definitely want to be careful with that, but you want to take calculated risk. In other words, you want to do your due diligence. You want to do your research and you definitely want to make sure whatever investment you're getting ready to get in, that it fits the mold. Now, let me give you a tip. Let me give you all a tip on what to do and how to identify some sound investments. OK, do you all remember when COVID happened? And everybody got shut down and laid off, but they kept the essential workers working. So imagine this. Now, I'm going to give you all a serious I teach this to my coaching clients, y'all. Like, for real. This, I'm going to give you all some real serious intel now. Think about the things that you use, that you frequent on a daily basis, that you don't think about. 
those are the things that you should invest in, things that you utilize, things that places you go and things of that nature. So watch this. Um, if I were to ask you, do you ever realize how much silver is being used? I buy silver by the ounces and, and, and stack silver. Why? Because one of my mentors and, and mentors to several of you all, uh, Robert Kiyosaki said we ought to have silver and we ought to have gold. So I buy silver and gold and get it sent to my sent to a certain place where I put it in in in, in my um safe deposit box at the bank or whatever. So that when if when it when and if whatever happens, we have funds that are stored up in different asset classes, you all. What about the 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 metals that go into the toothpaste tubes? Have you ever thought about investing in some of these? Have you ever thought about investing in land and property? Right. Well, I don't have enough money to flip houses like you, Doc Favors. OK, but you can get into some REITs. Right. Uh, um, some 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 things that some funds where they buy property. You know, it's a couple of platforms that I used to be in um, similar to something called Fundrise. Right. I don't know if you know about that. And uh, I used to be in REITs. Right. So you want to diversify. You want to find certain things. So like what are the big what are the big essentials? Transportation. It's going to always be a good field industry to invest in, right? You just got to know what type of transportation, whether it be airplanes, trains. Y'all, I'm talking about serious investors right now. What about the um, uh, water? People are always going to have to have water, so investing in water is always a good deal. Here's one. What about the medical field? What type of business can you start or invest in in that particular field, guys? Okay? Now, I'm sharing this with you because, once again, I'm reading your comments and I know these people hurt a lot of you all. Some of these could be bots or spam as well. But the reality of it is, you all, even if it is, it still raises a good point to say you don't just throw in the towel and give up. Find a way to get back on the horse, but find you a mentor, all right? And here's where I'm going to just bring this into the mix as a soft pub. But I'm getting ready to launch our new digital product. I mean, our new book. I got a digital book of this and a hard copy book, right? And it is the sequel. You all heard me talk about the first one. This is the sequel. And it's called Creating a Life of Freedom, Change Your Financial Landscape with These Four Moves. Now, what's most important about this book and why I'm sharing this with the Novatechians, my Novatech community, is that this book teaches you how to bounce back, how to rework, how to reevaluate, uh, how to reestablish lines of doing business in four moves. I guarantee you, with this information, I've helped people take their yearly salary and turn it into a monthly salary. We've helped people three times their yearly salaries in the last 60 days uh, when we first launched one of the products um, that I told you we pivoted to with the uh, Proctor Gallagher company. And so the information we have, I'm now, um, we halfway in, so we're about three three months into this thing, four, eight, 12, 12, weeks, month, 12 weeks in, and we're seeing phenomenal results from the clients some of them traveling the world, going to Egypt and going to Cancun and stuff like that. Like I say, some of them opening businesses and they're through the teachings and the mindset and everything. They're creating life, man. That's, they, hey, listen, you can't even tell we took the hits from Novatech anymore because we pivoted and now we're on the other side. And I want that for you all as well. But I'm going to tell you all, man, we got to eventually, I know we waiting on it. I gave you all the news. Hopefully you all went over there and read what's going on with Novatech and everything. But I'm going to tell you right now waiting on it. If it comes back, amazing. But if it don't, what you gonna do? You can't get caught just sitting on your hands. I'm proposing, I'm sharing with you all, I'm asking you all to take a serious look at some of the programs that we have, starting with this small little book, okay? And then the challenge that we're gonna be doing starts on the 10th, and it's, it's geared for you all. So we set everything at a price that is very reasonable for you, but first things first, you all, you got to get the book, join the private Facebook group, because we're going to be letting everybody know the information over there. So with that being said, man, it's going to be a four day challenge. I'm going to walk you through this information personally, and I'm going to give you some tips and strategies that we use on how we manifested some huge months, some great months this past year and looking forward to doing it again coming up in this quarter. So with that being said, you all I hope you hear my heart and understand that. The reason I wanted to do this check-in, because you know I've been doing it maybe once every three or four weeks, but this right here almost broke my heart, man, because I don't want you all to just give up just because someone did something like that. You got to stay in the boat, keep going. Just get your mentor. If you don't have one there, connect with us. I'll show you what we're doing and how we're doing it. We are very conservative, but we're good at what we do, okay? 
We get you cash flow. So when your investments are not as best, you still got cash flow coming in. All that stuff matters, man. So end of the day, y'all, hey, don't just throw in the towel on the industry. Don't give up. If you, as a matter of fact, if you're in the workforce, if you lose one job, you don't give up on working all together. You just go find you another job. So we're going to find some more investments. We're going to vet them right. We're going to take a better risk to reward ratio. But we're going to stay in the game, you all, because we got to build these multiple sources of income. So with that being said, man, this doc favors, man. I hope something said that resonated with you. Guys, I'm going to leave the link below. Click the link. Get your book. Those who get in the digital copy, it's going to come to you instantly with the bonuses. Those of you who get in the signed copy, don't forget you got to cover the um, shipping and handling. And we're going to ask that you give us at least 10 days to get that book to you because the, the, the way it's set up is we got to go check it manually, all right? It's not automated. We do this ourselves, so just so we can get that info to you. So that being said, Doc Favors here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, y'all, let's be positive on purpose and not by accident. We'll see you next time.